Hello and welcome, I'm your Kudmaki. The Asset Store is full of awesome tools and apps to help you make your own games. There's more and more awesome stuff coming out every month, so in this video I'll let you out some highlights for December 25. In this first video I'll be covering a list of free assets, and next one I'll be covering paid asset tools. Let me know in the comments if you pick up any of these and what you intend to do with them. Unity recently asked me to do something pretty fun. They asked me to pick 25 assets that were released recently in order to make a really nice bundle. I went through my top new assets list, just like this video. I browsed hundreds of assets that I've seen throughout this entire year, and then picked the 25 most interesting ones. Here this includes a bunch of interesting tools, like the Ultimate Preview, or this one for quickly editing UVs, you've got this one to build some runtime transform gizmos, or this one to compile some C-sharp code directly inside your game, use this one to add a bunch of destruction in 2D, as well as a bunch of interesting visual effects. Here you've got a nice noir effect, over here a nice pixelated effect, then some nice cartoony VFX, and a bunch more. So yep, out of the hundreds of assets that I've seen this year, I picked the 25 most interesting ones that I could find. As a whole, this bundle contains 25 stuff for just 25 bucks, so the whole thing is 95% off. Basically, if just one of these looks interesting, then the whole bundle is worth it. It's ending in just 3 days, so check it out in the link in the description. Alright, so onto the top 10 list, starting off with actually 5 in 1. It's a new Unity building blocks. These are individual pieces that implement some sort of Unity service. You really just drag and drop the whole thing, and it's supposed to work flawlessly and easily. There's this one over here for implementing player accounts. So this one involves authentication, it involves cloud code and cloud save. Then there's this one over here for implementing achievements. So this one uses remote config, it uses cloud code and cloud save to implement a custom achievement system. Next up you've got this one for leaderboards. So this one implements Unity's own leaderboard tool. This is actually one that I've never used myself. Next up we've got one for implementing matchmaking. This lets you group players together in order to find the right matches. And finally the one for a multiplayer session. So this is how you group players together to then synchronize the data with either netcode for game objects or netcode for entities or any other netcode. So yep, these building blocks are quite interesting. They're meant to help you get started very quickly. These are all free. You can just add them, import them to a project and that's basically it. I already made a video covering these. So if you want to know how exactly they work, check out that video. Next up, if you want to build some hot rods, here's a great module pack. This is a really nice one. You can choose all kinds of pieces to make basically near infinite variation. They are upgradable, they are modular and damageable. This is actually a sample of a much bigger paid version, but still this one includes 9 modular vehicles and 80 parts, so that's actually very generous for a free pack. So you can play with this one, make all kinds of customization, and then if you like it, you can pick up the full pack to make literally millions of unique cars. Then for some fun, here we have a VFX pack. It's a nice impact and hit VFX pack. These always look really great to demonstrate that the player hits something or someone. Adding these effects make the hit feel much more impactful, so you definitely should add something like this. This free package includes 17 assets. These are flipbook animations and they are all fully customizable. So this is another one where you feel like this one, there's a paid pack with tons more. Or if you're making a card game, look at this one. You've got some modular playing cards. These look quite nice. They come in 9 different themes, white, black, gold and so on. The included PSD file comes with separate layers for all the pieces, all of them are very modular. It also includes a back card and a joker. So yep, if you want to make a card game, then this pack will save you quite a bit of time. Then one awesome demo that Unity published themselves quite a while ago was the Book of the Dead. It was a really awesome cinematic. This over here, this is a really gorgeous scene. But if you try to load the original one into a modern version of Unity, it really just leads to a ton of pink. So this developer over here, this one basically handled that conversion. You can go ahead and import this free pack, and now you can look at that scene in beautiful modern URP. It is still a great looking scene nowadays. So if you have any ideas for something set in a forest, then really just grab this one. Or if you're making a sci-fi game, here's a nice low poly asset pack. You've got various props, all of them looking quite sci-fi, so really very flat shapes with sharp edges. You could use these to build some kind of house, or maybe a spaceship, or perhaps some kind of space station where this would be the workers' quarters. So with just this one, you could make some kind of mini spaceship tycoon game. You've got 9 prefabs for free, and as usual, if you like it, there's a paid pack with tons more. Next up, for another nice effect, here we have some rain. So this is pretty simple, it's exactly what you think. You've got some rain that you just drag and drop and it just works. It includes both the droplets as well as the splash on the floor. So yep, looks pretty nice, pretty realistic, exactly what you expect. And then for some nice free animations, here we have some throwing animations. These are by Kevin Iglesias. Great publisher with lots of awesome stuff. This pack includes throwing a spear, throwing a ball, a boomerang and a dagger, as well as some hit and death animations. So you have a pretty nice pack, pretty robust. In total you've got 103 free animations. So if you need your character to throw something, then use this one. Next up, here's an interesting one if you want to have some custom characters. 
There's a platform called Genies that basically handles avatars and a bunch of other different things. It is now out officially and the SDK is free, so you can implement this in your game so your players can have these avatars that can be dressed in various ways. This could be good if you want some humanoid avatars with a whole bunch of customization. You just implement this and you already have tons of customization by default. Personally, I've done some work with them to help test out a multiplayer toolset that they had, and when I tried that, this avatar system seemed pretty nice. And finally, for some UI, here we have a free casual GUI. The whole thing is very nice and inviting, apparently it's inspired by boba tea shops. It contains over 200 vector UI elements, you've got buttons, sliders, controls, really basic everything. So all of it is nice and round, nice and cozy. Alright, so those are my top 10 free new assets on the Unity App Store for December 25. There's links all in the description, and also check out my own free and pen on store. Alright, hope that's useful, check out these videos to learn some more. Thanks to these awesome Patreon supporters for making these videos possible. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.